A magic mountain. Have you ever read it? Gina, I have a lot to do today. Neither have I. It's awfully heavy. I wish you'd stop playing these games and just say what it is you want to say. Stop being so impatient, Kirk. You're spoiling all my fun. Half the enjoyment of having someone where you want them is taking your time and playing along with them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to oblige you by squirming. So when you're ready to tell me what it is, maybe I'll come back and listen. Why don't you just sit down, Kirk? Oh, now, aren't we getting high-handed? I have plenty to be high-handed about. And what's that? The fact that you tried to murder Cece? I'm not so sure you want to shout about that loudly. All right. Maybe I did try to kill Cece. But I know plenty about you and Eden, too. For instance. The night Eden tried to kill him. Or she almost did. Before she got so zonked out that she collapsed on the floor, Eden almost pulled the plug herself. Only you came in, and you helped her out the window. Didn't think I knew about all that, did you? Oh, you are out of your mind. Am I? I was in the closet, Kirk. I was in Cece's room, hiding in the closet. I saw you. And not long after that, Eden married you. Well, everyone was quite surprised. I mean, no one could understand it, considering Eden loved Cruz so much. The whole family was confused. Except for me. What are you saying? I'm saying that you blackmailed Eden into marrying you. Oh, maybe not overtly. But you let her know that you had something on her. That you were keeping her little secret, helping her out. Like the gentleman you are. What secret? Come on. I think this is how it happened, Kirk. I think Eden woke up and she thought that she really had done it. That she had tried to kill her father. And you let her keep on believing it. You didn't say anything to the contrary. How am I doing so far? You're insane. Oh, dear. I hate a man that's a bad loser. Did you tell when you've been beaten? Oh, no, you couldn't tell even the truth. Of course not. So you come in here accusing me of trying to kill Cece. Well, if you were so certain of that, well, why didn't you go to the authorities? Why didn't you come forward and say something to somebody else? It's obvious why. You needed Eden to continue believing that she had actually done it. My, my, aren't we quiet? Well, that's better. You may have a lot on me, but I have a whole lot on you, too. What you know could probably send me to jail. But what I know about you could cost you your marriage to Eden and your standing in this household. And I don't think you can afford that. The way I see it, it's a standoff. This looks good. I think I'll take it.